Hello, it's Helicopter John. Uh, just want to give you a little uh, update here on what we're doing here on our uh, Alors tool post. Made a little adapter here for the, the coolant. And we're going to show you how it works. We have a a valve on here where we can adjust the flow. We can get a lot of cooling out, or we can get it down where you get just a very little bit, and you can also turn it off. Turn it on however you want it for your machining operations. This is a little bit a different angle. This particular tool we got in here is a parting tool. And if you look at the, the little uh, bracket that's on the back here, the, the nylon bracket that I made, it's uh, it allows for the, the coolant to go through there. Also, we have this adjustable uh, hose adapter on here that allows it to, to seek any angle it needs in, in the machining operations. You can also take it off and on, no problem. And this is for the Alors AXA tool holder. If you want to change holders, all you do is disconnect that, take that holder off, put your next holder on, when it's there, and all you do is hook this back up and you're ready to start machining again. I think it'll work real well. We have uh, different adapters for um, different tools. I have one for the turning tools, one for the cutoff tool. Uh, I'm going to make one for the boring tool. So uh, this is a pretty good little setup here, and uh, I thank my buddy Eric on uh, Practical Machinist Forum for uh, giving me the idea to, to do this. He's uh, actually got one of these on his uh, uh, Haas uh, TL1 lathe, so uh, many thanks to Eric for a great idea, and uh, this is what we're going to use here on our Clausing uh, 5900 series uh, uh, manual lathe with uh, uh, coolant. Okay, we're going to show you how to put on a new tool here. Let's say this is a Loris AXA. And here's the, uh, the little adapter that I made. Here again, this is a prototype. We're going to make a really nice one. This is just to see if it would actually work. But what it does, it, go, it, it goes down into this uh, back hole here, and it's, uh, it's square on the bottom, so it'll, it'll index it to the, the appropriate spot. That's how simple it is to install. Of course, we'll have one of these for, for each of the holders. This will already be preset. So uh, all you'll need to do is to, to plug this part in, turn on your coolant, and you're ready to go. You can adjust the flow. You get whatever you need. And you can turn it on and off whenever you need it. So it's a, really a great idea. Eric, you're the man.
this is a setup we have here for uh, turning the coolant off and on. Here's your off and on valve here. Turn it off and on. And then here's your flow control valve. You can uh, decide how much fluid you want coming out your nozzle. And it's really a pretty nice little valve there. So it gives you pretty good control over what you've got. And of course, whenever you want to, then you can just turn the whole thing off whenever you're going to change tools or do that type of thing. But, uh, really pretty happy with it. And like I said, we made this little adapter to, to mount to the uh, coolant panel, the lathe. And uh, I think we're ready to go. Uh, we're going to make a couple more of the uh, adapter brackets for the other tools. Uh, one for the, the boring tool and uh, uh, what other tools we've got. I think I've got a knurling tool. If we want to put one on the knurling tool, we can and different things. So I uh, appreciate you watching and uh, thanks again, Eric. This is the Gray Mills uh, pump we have here for our lathe. And uh, this is our little control valve that we have shown before. And here's the tool post holder. You can see there's uh, there's plenty of room for loosening and tightening the the nut. Guess that about wraps it up for our demo. Thank you for watching. And that's how we do it at helicopterjohn.com.